Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Buddha said, your greatest weapon is your enemy's mind. Crucial to victory in any battle is psychological warfare. Historians agree that the coining of brainwash in English can be credited to Edward Hunter, an American journalist and propaganda expert. The term is used in reference to a program of political or religious indoctrination or ideological remolding. The techniques of brainwashing involve isolation from former associates and sources of information. An exacting regimen requiring absolute obedience and humility. Strong social pressures and rewards for cooperation physical and psychological punishments for non-cooperation ranging from social ostracism and criticism, deprivation of food, sleep, and social contacts, to bondage and torture, and continual reinforcement. How long have these techniques been used on us? What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Temple of the Tooth, Sri Dalada Malagawa. The Temple of the Tooth, is an active temple complex and a ritual center of Buddhism in Sri Lanka. The 17th century Temple of the Tooth, Sri Balata Malagawa, is believed to house the left upper canine tooth of the Lord Buddha himself. This precious relic attracts white-clad pilgrims, bearing lotus blossoms every day. The tooth of the Lord Buddha looks much larger than our teeth today. What do you think? Externsten, Germany. This mysterious sacred site is located in the Teutoburg Forest. These huge sandstone rocks are said to be over 70 million years old. At the top of the Externsten rock are some remains of a prehistoric temple, constructed astronomically with celestial alignments. The relief of the descent from the cross, carving. Also known as the Tree of Life, medieval hermits made this relief carving into one of the rocks. The carving shows a pagan tree, known as an Erminsel. Erminsel supposedly meant Great Pillar, and it is said that this was a pagan belief system in the center of the world, where the world tree connected the earth to heaven. The carving at Externston thus symbolized the cutting down of the world tree, which was replaced with the belief in Jesus Christ, who died at the cross. However, historians are still searching and arguing over this carving. What do you think? Gog and Magog, or sometimes Gog Magog and Quirinius, are descended from mythical pagan giants, and their origins lie in medieval legends of the early British kings. The story goes that Diocletian, the Roman emperor, had 33 wicked daughters. The Gog prophecy is meant to be fulfilled at the approach of what is called the end of days, but not necessarily the end of the world. Jewish eschatology viewed Gog and Magog as enemies to be defeated by the Messiah, which would usher in the age of the Messiah. Christianity's interpretation is more starkly apocalyptic, making Gog and Magog, here indicating nations rather than individuals, allies of Satan against God at the end of the millennium, as described in the Book of Revelation. The 
Chasqui, the immense pyramids of Ecuador. This huge 83.9 hectare site of Kachasqui, where pyramids and sacred animals patiently remind us that Ecuadorian archaeology holds more secrets than most people recognize. The Kachasqui archaeological site is 3100 meters, or 10,170 feet, above sea level, and extremely close to the equator. It has an unrivaled view of 280 degrees, including views of a combination of snow-capped mountains and volcanoes. The debate is on. Was Kachasqui a home for the elite, an astronomical observatory, a fortress, a sanctuary, or did it serve some combination of functions? What do you think? In Thailand, there is the famous temple of Wat Prapping Nguyen. It houses one of the most curious Buddhist shrines, the mummified bodies of two humanoid creatures unknown to science. Believers claim that these are the bodies of Buddhist fairies Kumbhand. These mummies are tiny humanoid creatures with strange heads resembling a flower bud. Buddhist fairies are perfectly preserved. On their faces you can see the eyes, mouth and nose. The size of each mummy does not exceed the length of the finger of an adult and on their heads, there is something resembling a headdress. Pictures of the fairies are only permitted to be taken by certain individuals. What do you think? The Lion Killers Abili apes, or Bondo mystery apes, were names given in 2003 in sensational reports in the popular media to a purportedly new species of highly aggressive giant ape, supposedly inhabiting the wetlands and savanna around the village of Bili in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The apes nest on the ground like gorillas, but they have a diet and features characteristic of chimpanzees. They are the largest of the chimpanzees weighing around 400 pounds and an average of 6 feet in height. I'm sure there's a lot we haven't found yet, and some creatures or beings that have been kept hidden from us. Mount Meru What would be Mount Meru? A magnetic mountain, a magnetic vortex in the center of the earth, a hole, a tree from the past. Did the parasites destroy the mountain or tree? I hear, it is, or was, at the center of the Earth, North Pole. It is claimed to be what makes a compass work. There could be a giant tree there, or it could have been cut down by the parasites and caused the Earth mud floods. Any thoughts? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.